With Team Millennium here once again, I'm doing a deck profile on Paleozoic Volcanics or Volcanic Paleozoics. Um, I've been playing it for the last couple of days. It's a fun deck and a budget deck. Um, in the last four days, I've lost probably three duels, but I've been trolling everybody with it, as uh, the cameraman just seen. Uh, shout out to my test partner, Chris. I beat three decks of his. Uh, he had, uh, what was it, Blue Eyes, uh, Skull Servants. What, what else he played? It was Skull Servants, Blue Eyes. Or something else, maybe. I'm not um, sure. Zach, uh, Yanni, your boy Y20 Killer, uh, Alex, uh, his Monarchs and uh, his uh, Spirals. Um, but anyway, let me get into a deck profile. It's real fun and it's real budget. Um, three Volcanic Rockets. What it does is you normal summon it and you get your uh, main trap from the deck, which is Tri Blades Accelerator. Volcanic Scatter Shot. Um, if it's sent to the graveyard, you inflict 500 damage uh, to your opponent. If it's sent to the graveyard by a Tri Blades Accelerated card, you can send two more scatter shots to the graveyard. They take 1500 damage and it blows up their whole field. Volcanic Shell. Um, you can uh, discard this, or if it's in a graveyard, you pay 500 and you add another copy to your hand so it helps thin out the deck. If you play another card, uh, it allows you to, uh, I think it's called Blaze Accelerator. You pitch it and you destroy a card, that, uh, a monster that your opponent controls. You pay 500, get another one. You continue to do that, but you can't attack the turn that you do that. Two Volcanic Counters. If this is in the graveyard while you have another Volcanic card or another Pyro card, uh, it banishes itself from the graveyard, it's mandatory. Um, and your opponent takes the damage that you take. I've literally ganked some people using this. Um, two Royal Storm Firestorm, Royal Firestorm Guards. You normal summon it, and you send four Pyro Monsters from your um, graveyard back to your deck. You shuffle it, and you get two cards. So it's kind of like a cheap ass, uh, what's the name of the card? It's kind of like that Gusto Emerald budget, basically. Um, I play one Volcanic Doomfire. Uh, nobody really plays it, but I like it simply because uh, from the GX series, the uh, guy Brody, he's my favorite character, so I just added it, and I won some games with it. He's but like the basically the boss monster, He's right? the boss monster of the deck. Um, and you can also pitch it, because I only played one of, and you can get it shuffled back with uh, Royal, Storm Fire, Royal Storm Fire Guard or whatever. Um, but how you special summon him is you send an um, accelerated blade, blade accelerator to the graveyard and it's special summon him. So he's like a llama, he can... Basically. Yeah, it gets rid of the traps. Uh, for the traps, three reckless greed. At first, I thought it was bad, but you have to know when to use it. Uh, you draw two cards, and then uh, you uh, you skip your um, two um, draw phases. But depending on when you use it and what you draw, is really good. To get into the Paleozoic lineup, play three Dinomiscus. You, uh, what you call it? You flip it and you banish a card by discarding a card. So when you discard banish. cards like this, uh, counter, a volcanic shell, um, you basically plus because you're gonna pay 500 and get another one to your hand next turn. Or if your opponent attacks, they're taking that damage. <laughs> Pelexo Canadia is like a, a book of moon. So it's really good, help me out with some games. Uh, flip a monster face down. Paleozoic Morella, you play this and you send a, a trap card to the uh, to the from the deck to the graveyard, and you and what you want to send are these. Use the main trap of the, um, the deck, Blaze Accelerator Reload. You send these to the um, the graveyard, and when you banish it, you can send any of these to well not these, but any volcanic monsters to the graveyard. So what you want to do is you want to send this, the scatter shots. It banishes it, send these to the graveyard, and they, it blows up their whole field. And sometimes they don't even know what's happening. Cause like if they, if they might mystical space typhoon this or twin twisters, they don't even care about it. But uh, when you activate it, you can pitch a card to draw a card. And it's in the graveyard, you banish it to get the effect uh, to, uh, to send these to the graveyard. I played two magic cylinders. Um, this is definitely a game stiller. Uh, my buddy, Chris, <laughs> shout out to Chris. Um, he brought out a Shinryu, had like 52,000 attack, he attacked my magic cylinder and then burned up again. He was salty. Uh, two Fiendish Chains. Um, yeah, uh, I got the commons, but uh, I ordered the, 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 the supers uh, in the mail, they'll be here tomorrow. Um, it stops your opponent from activating effects and he can't attack. Uh, so that's really good. Um,
for the one of, I play one embodiment of Apophius. Whoa. It's a trap card. You know, I had to get the ulti. It's super cheap though, it's like 64 cents. Still um, super old school. Let's take a look at this, guys. Super, you can even see the artwork. It's a level four, yeah, just uh, top of, it's a level four, so it can help you go into your, your rank four plays. Um, also, it's a trap, so when you activate it, you can bring your Paleozoics back to the field. So, um, it's real good. I'm also, I just ordered uh, something called Shape Sister. It does the same thing, but it's a level two, so it helps you go into your rank twos. And Vanity's Emptiness, obviously because of Vanity's. Three pot of dualities. Um, I had the same rarity, but Yanni took one, so let's know he's ass. Um, you reveal the top three cards of your deck, and uh, you add one to your hand, shuffle the rest back. But it, um, you can't special summon that turn, but this deck doesn't really special summon like that. Two twin twisters. Um, it's good because you can discard a card, and most of the cards you can discard and you can get back, hit your opponent's back row. Uh, one foolish burial. What I do with this is I either send. Ones, right? I either send the volcanic shell to the graveyard so I can pay 500 get another copy to my hand for fodder or I send this and most time people are like okay they don't even know what it is and they don't care <laughs> uh, I will play one foolish burial goods I have that but I'm still testing out with the deck right now this is like 41 cards but I might change some things around I might add some frogs to it um, one totally awesome everybody should know what that does you can make this with the paleozoics and the frogs also with the uh, shape sister uh, no you need two waters actually um, Digusto Phoenix. This is a good card. Play two level twos, and then uh, you can attack twice uh, for fi uh, for three thousand. And usually you are, you attack for three thousand because you already don't wipe their board off, and they don't have any back row. That's three thousand like plus game, the fifteen. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Basically, game. Um, we have number um, forty-five. With I'll read the effect. From the logos. Once per turn, you can attach one exceeds material from this card, then target one face-up card on the field. While this monster is face-up on the field, that target has its effects negated. While that target is on the field, cards are the same name as that target, and their effects cannot be activated. Prohibition. So it's really good. That's really good. Um, Armored Kappa. I'll read the effect to you. Yeah, what does that guy do? Once per turn, you can attach one exceeds material from this card. This card gains 1,000 attack or defense during either player's battle step while an attack involving your monster is occurring. You can discard one card for the rest of this turn. Monsters you can control cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, you take no battle damage. You can only use this effect once per duel. Um, Paleozoic, Opa, whatever that is. Opabinia. Opabinia. This card is unaffected by other monsters effect. You can activate Paleozoic trap cards from your hand. If this card has a trap card as an exceeds material, you can detach one exceeds material from your card from this card. Add one pillars or a trap from your deck to your hand. Um, I play two darkness. Um, it requires three level two monsters. I, I brought about like one time, but he looks cool, so that's why I got him. Um, once per um, once per battle during either player's turn, when an attack is declared involving this card and an opponent's monster, you can detach one exceeds material from this card. Have the attack of the mo opponent's monster, and if you do, this card gains that the same attack and it's permanent. Uh, two Paleozoics and uh, I can't even see it from upside down. And a Mono Cars? Uh, it takes two Paleozoics. This card is unaffected by other monsters' effects. Once per turn, if a trap card is sent from your spell and trap to the graveyard, except during a damage step, you can excavate the top card of your deck, and if it is a trap card, add it to your hand. Otherwise, send it to the graveyard. That's good because some of the, the volcanics work in the graveyard. Uh, once per turn, during either player's turn, if this card has a trap card as a seized material, you can attach one of the uh, material from your card, then it, um, then target one card on the field and destroy it. So this deck like interrupts a lot. Um, one, Digusto Emerald, because you want to shuffle back your, that $30 card. Uh, Shuffle it back to the deck. Three cards and draw one card. This this card, um, this deck really, um, is it, it recycles a lot of their material. Uh, one Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon, Old just team. because it's my favorite Exceeds material uh, monster. Uh, for your level fours, uh, Infernal Flame Vixen. I really rarely go into them because I was playing a uh, one. I was playing a uh, one very statue of the Inferno, but it was messing me up with my Pillar Zoid, so I took it out. But it, you don't have to really put that in there. Um, what it does is, 
Once per turn, you can detach when they seize material from this card. This card gains 500 attack until your opponent's end phase. When this card with 2,500 or more attack is destroyed, target three monsters in any graveyard. Banish those targets. Um, that's it for the lineup. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna work uh, play around with it a little bit more, but so far I like it a lot. It's really fun to play. Shout out to Pickles, acting like a dumbass. Anyways, um, it's the, the deck is really fun to play with. It's really budget, and uh, since it doesn't really special summon that much, I think it'll really work well with links. Um, like the video, subscribe. Is there any decks that you want us to uh, build? Just let us know. Uh, we're supposed to do some live builds, but we never got around to it. But uh, just let us know what, what decks you want to work us uh, work on. Uh, thanks, Team Millennium Seven. Out.